Islamic anarchism is based on an interpretation of Islam as submission to God, which either prohibits or is highly critical of the role of human authority. Topic: <laughs> Historical anarchist tendencies in Islam. Throughout Islamic history there have been Muslim groups, movements, and individuals which could be described as anti-authoritarian, anti-capitalist, egalitarian, or opposed to the rule of specific governments. Among these, only a few are properly associated with the anarchist label. Karajits <laughs> 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 An early example of anti-authoritarianism in Islam is the movement of the Kawaray, which dates back to the time of the split between Sunni and Shi'i Islam. The Shia claimed Ali and his descendants the Al -Al -Bayt were the rightful successors of Muhammad. The Sunnis believed at least initially, that the leader of all the Muslims had to be from the Quraysh tribe but could be chosen by the Muslim community. Sunnis also tended to be conservative, as long as certain minimal functions were being carried out, it was wrong to rebel against the lawful Muslim ruler, even when they were being sinful. The Kawaray initially supported the leadership of Ali, but turned against him when they disagreed with some of his decisions. They claimed that any qualified Muslim could be the Imam, the community's spiritual and religious leader. They were also more willing to rebel against Muslim rulers. At least one sect of Karahites, the Najdiya, believed that if no suitable imam was present in the community, then the position could be dispensed with. The Nukhari, a subsect of the Ibadiyya, reportedly adopted a similar belief. Mu'tazili A strand of Mu'tazili thought paralleled that of the Najdiya, if rulers inevitably became tyrants, then the only acceptable course of action was to depose them. Topic. Sheikh Bedreddin Sheikh Bedreddin 1359 Ottoman Turkish, Sheikh Bedraldin was a proto-socialist revolutionary Sufi theologian and charismatic preacher who led a rebellion against the Ottoman Empire in 1416. His full name was Say Bedreddin Mahmud bin Israel bin Abdulaziz. His writings were condemned by a number of Ottoman religious scholars such as Ismail Haki Bersevi. Others instead praise him. He is a popular figure among Turkey's left. Nazim Hikmeh was jailed for inciting rebellion after encouraging military cadets to read Bedreddin's work. The musicians Jem Karaka and Oz Lavanelli composed a song based on Hikmeh's epic poem, the Say Bedreddin Dastani. In Hikmeh's work, Bedreddin and his companions emphasize that all things must be shared, except the lips of the beloved. Sheikh Bedreddin's proto-socialist ideas emphasized direct action, direct democracy, international and interfaith human solidarity, equality and communal life. He is highly respected among the Turkish anarchists. <laughs> Ali Shariati An important and influential figure in the 20th century was Ali Shariati, who was considered the principal theoretician and leader of the popular movement that ultimately culminated in the mass uprisings that led to the Iranian Revolution and the overthrow and dissolution of the Pahlavi Iran on of February 1979. From the 1950s and on, Shariati was continually persecuted and often imprisoned in solitary confinement by the imperial authorities with the support of the mainline Shia clergy who feared that Shariati was poised to become a national leader in the same vein as Muhammad Mosaddegh. Shariati's anti-clerical and populist interpretation of Twelver Shi'i Islam was strongly influenced by the nationalist Republican historian and philosopher, Ahmad Kasravi, who had advocated a secular reformist interpretation of Islam, intertwined with a detailed study of the history of the Iranian peoples. However, while Kasravi was a conservative nationalist, Shariati was on the opposite end of the spectrum, embracing both the far-left and radical traditionalists. Shariati was one of the very few national figures who was popular and respected across the diverse ethnolinguistic spectrum of Iran, as loved by the Sunni Kurds and Baloch people as he was by the Shia. The continuous persecution of Shariati by both the imperial state and the followers of Ruhollah Khomeini began to take its toll on his health. After his last incarceration, having spent 18 months in solitary, Shariati spent the next three years under close surveillance and his freedom of movement highly restricted under virtual house arrest. 
On 20 March 1975, under the stipulation that he remain in exile permanently, Shariati was granted permission to leave Iran for the United Kingdom. Three weeks after his arrival in London, Shariati suffered a heart attack and shortly thereafter died. Although Shariati was not an anarchist, his vision of Islam was highly influenced by the Third Worldism that he encountered as a student in Paris ideas that class war and revolution would bring about a just and classless society from one side, and the Islamic fundamentalist movements of his time from the other side. He is said to have adopted the idea of Garbzadagi from Jalal al e Ahmad and given it its most vibrant and influential second life was that of a religion based upon the values of social justice, women's rights, minority rights, land reform for farmers and agrarians, advocacy for the poor and indigent, as well as a direct democracy that would allow for self-governance instead of having to rely on career politicians and elected representatives. He believed that the only true reflection of the Islamic concept of tawhid unity and oneness of God is a classless society. See also. Related movements Pacifism in Islam Islamic Socialism Arab Socialism Liberal movements within Islam Third World Socialism Islam and Democracy Post-colonial anarchism Relevant individuals Ali Shariati Isabel Eberhardt Gustav Henri Jasso Hakim Bey Michael Muhammad Knight Social Groups, Places Bedouin Kaware Pirate Utopias Tukwakor Anarchism in Africa Anarchism in Turkey-related concepts Political Quietism in Islam Political Aspects of Islam Caliphate Islam and Democracy Shura Anarchism and Religion Other Religious Anarchisms Jewish anarchism Anarchism and Orthodox Judaism Christian anarchism Buddhist anarchism Topic References Topic Further reading Imagining an Islamic anarchism a new field of study is plowed by Anthony T. Fasella, published in Religious Anarchism, New Perspectives 2009 by Alexander Christianopoulos ed. Varieties of Islamic Anarchism, A Brief Introduction, by Anthony T. Fasella, Zine, downloadable at Alpine Anarchist Topic. External links Anarcha Islam by Muhammad Jean Venus Toward an Anti-Authoritarian Islam – Natural Islam by Salim Muslim Anarchist Charter Julian Jakob